Last Christmas, I gave you my girth. You told me I moved heaven and earth. This year, you've got diarrhea, and it's leaking from your booty. So I'll be playing Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. This go to for hope y'all keeping well, keeping safe, keeping sexy, keeping cute, keeping dynamic, keeping busy. It's that time of year where people are going to be busy. So, this is my Xbox OG Classic original collection that I've been collecting for like seven months. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know it never meant to go that way. I only meant to pick up a few. Then I took me, well, one of my Xboxes to Jay at Modern Retro Gaming on eBay. I'll leave a link to uh, his eBay page where he sells mods, services, consoles. And I got him to put me a two terabyte hard drive in it. Soft mod it, it come with all the emulation ROMs and everything. But for me, it wasn't that. It was for the resolution that it can kick out. And that, for me, has been a game changer in my Xbox. So once I have the resolution, it will push it out. I will like, damn. These games look better than ever. And for me, it's that sort of generation of console where I would want it to look better. Super Nintendo, Master System, Mega Drive, for me, CRT. But when you start going to these, I feel that these, if you can possibly make them look better, make them look better. That's my thoughts anyway. And yeah, absolutely classy classic console and I've fallen in love with it hard. The first time it came around, yeah, I kind of bought one while I did buy one and I skipped over it on more on PS2. But yeah, when combined with uh, one of those, the HDMI converter as well, it's, yeah, it's made it a full new animal. And I'm absolutely loving every second of this Xbox original and especially picking games up for it. Because you never know what you're going to get. There isn't that many shops that have got a lot of selection. And a lot of shops have got the same games. And you find them with no instructions. So for me, wanting them complete all the time, it's a bit of fun as well. I'm like, I've never seen this game. Yeah, I'll get that open up, no instructions. You fucking what? You know? And yeah, it's kind of doing all right. But as you can see, look, I've got my Pride and Joy up there. That's the Outrun Coaster course. That's sealed. Um all this pile here they're only on xbox ones that full row is only on xbox and the rest are just regular games uh there's a few well i think there's about 15 that i haven't put on there at the minute they're out and about i know a few of them what they are um i bought loads of games where yeah we were supposed to be complete open them up they're not complete just scratch whatever so yeah there's, you can probably Taken another 30 off that I should have got and I haven't, but it is what it is. It's discs like 20 year old, some of them. So, yeah, sometimes you've got to expect it. But I will say that CEX, even though a lot of people call them, what I do is I go to the counter if I don't see any that I want, pick them up and say, Look, can you have a look at this? If there's any marks, I'm can you run through all the cleaner. And but will, and I've got to say that. The discs that I get from there are absolutely gleaming when they come out. And yeah, I have bought one and it has been scratched because I haven't said, but yeah, you live and learn. So now I'll ask them to clean them. And yeah, job's a good one. So one other thing I'll say, which I really recommend buying if you can find one as well, is one of those controllers. It's a wireless controller. And yeah, I'm not going to lie, they are expensive. And yeah, they are pretty penny. So Logitech one and it's wireless and it feels absolutely sexual. That's the only word I can describe it. It feels fucking sexy. And I mean, it feels like you've got like a fucking page free stunner in your hand. It's like, mm, yeah, it's good stuff. So yeah, that's a wired uh, wireless Logitech controller. Yeah, absolutely stunning. The color is beautiful as well. And yeah, I'm not doing too bad. I don't think. I'm not sure how many of these in general. I'm guessing these and yeah, on this pile here. I'm guessing there's not that that many more Xbox. Well, only on Xbox, I don't think. 
can't see a beat masses but i've picked up a few uh today as well which i haven't put on the pile and i will do and this one i cannot believe that i don't own i own the second one and believe it or not this has been pretty hard to find or should i say hard to find complete or hard to find complete if it's not a classic box and it's strange because this one used to be everywhere and it probably still is but it's like i could go to a shop I might never see it. You might go to a shop, see it straight away. It's just one of them. I know I've got the second one. And that's Project Gotham Racing. I know. And what a game that is. See, Project Gotham Racing 2. I knew I'd got that. And I thought I'd owned that for a while. And then when I looked through, I thought, you know what, I haven't. So, yeah. I'm glad to pick that up. And then another only on Xbox. Arx Fatalis. Or something like that. Fatalis. And yeah, that's not a cheap game, to be fair. It's not mega, mega expensive, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely pricey. And it looks alright, it says The Dark Age, an epic role-playing game in a huge and entirely interactive world. So yeah, take from that what you will. So yeah, obviously these can go on that pile. Oh, in fact, every one that I've got today has been only on Xbox, so even better. We've got Rally Sport Challenge 2. And yeah, they're decent games as well. Now I'm not sure what to expect on this. These games have come on a long time since uh, this one. So I don't think this will be too good. But yeah, it might be worth a dabble. That is UFC Tap Out. As you can see, well, that's normally on Xbox again. And then just one more that I've got today, and I'm really, really pleased that I managed to find this one. And that is Dungeons and Dragons Heroes. Only on Xbox. It's not mega expensive, but it's not a cheapie. Eh? And that one's done by Atari. So yeah. They can go all on the uh, only on Xbox pile. And that's the amount that I've amassed. Well, I should have more. I bought some. They should have had instructions, but didn't. Or some discs have been marked and scratched, whatever, whatever. So you can probably say I've had to get rid of maybe 30. I have got some multiples, which I'm saving away. And I'm going to put in a big box with another sort of console and a few other bits and bobs and goodies. So that box is really coming along for somebody. And like I say, it's not just Xbox. There's all sorts in there. So yeah. It's Gold Tooths. Seven month, 2021. Xbox Classic Journey. And it's been an absolute pleasure. And I just can't wait to keep carrying on with these bad boys. In fact, I feel like going out now and getting some more. So if I do, I'll see you on the video very shortly. Everybody, take care. Keep sexy. Peace, motherfucker. Peace, motherfucker. Peace. Peace on earth, motherfucker. Peace on earth. Father Girthmas. Boof. <laughs>